today we look at Mel Robbins and the 5 second rule that has changed her life. If today's video is of value please like the video to let me know you've enjoyed it, share it with friends or family to educate others and consider subscribing for more content like this. Make sure to hit the bell icon to be notified of uploads as otherwise YouTube won't necessarily inform you of the latest videos. Mel Robbins is one of the most prominent self-help speakers and authors in the world today and an inspiration for millions with her body of work most centred around one rule, the 5 second rule, which will be the focus of today's video. Now before delving into the 5 second rule, who exactly is Mel Robbins? Well, prior to gaining fame she's actually had a lot of challenges to overcome and led a life that many can actually relate to. She graduated in law and was a criminal defence attorney, enjoying her job. That was before she had to find a new job having moved to a new city. Unfortunately, her new job, which was still in the same field, left her miserable and she struggled with the day to day. Her family was struggling for finances and she struggled with postpartum depression after having her child. While at home, adamant she didn't want to return to the job she hated, she struggled with her depression. Her marriage was collapsing around her and she struggled to be productive day to day. It was in her darkest moment that the solution came to her. An idea that was so simple she initially dismissed it as being stupid but decided there was no harm in trying anyway. Surprisingly, it worked. So she thought she'd try it again and again, same positive results. She kept doing it and from there the 5 second rule was born. Now she's gone on to have a number of various jobs and actually had to suffer far more than what I've told already, but through it all she's been using the 5 second rule to take decisive actions in her life to be where she is today. So what is the 5 second rule? The general principle behind the rule is that you have roughly a 5 second period to perform an action before your mind will pull you out of it and stop you. The reason the mind stops you is because it naturally makes us take action for survival and comfort as a self defence mechanism. If you're having to think about an action, it means that action usually has some risk associated to it that could result you in feeling some sense of pain. Our brain is wired to avoid pain and so as we hesitate it's building up reasons in your mind as to why you shouldn't take action. Usually most of us will stop ourselves taking action we know that could benefit us due to this response. And the fact about human beings is that we are not designed to do things that are uncomfortable or scary or difficult. Our brains are designed to protect us from those things because our brains are trying to keep us alive and in order to change, in order to build a business, in order to be the best parent, the best spouse, to do all those things that you know you want to do with your life, with your work, with your dreams, you're going to have to do things that are difficult, uncertain or scary. And that's precisely the point of the 5 second rule. It's to override the doubts and fears we have and to take action we know could be of benefit to us quickly. After all, just as there might be risks, there will also be huge opportunities. So how do you apply the 5 second rule? It's actually a simple 2 step process. Number 1. The first thing to do is acknowledge that you're stressed. Don't analyse or dissect it but just accept that what you're dealing with is not a fault, a defect or an inability in you but a reaction to stress and it's driving your decisions. That takes a bit of pressure off and enables your prefrontal cortex to play a role in the next decision. Number 2. Make a 5 second decision that is directly contrary to the stress response. You do this by counting backwards from 5, like a rocket launch and by 0 you push yourself to take action. For example, you have something to contribute to a meeting that you know you could be of value but are afraid of the response. Then use the 5 second rule to speak up and make that contribution. You know that you're meant to speak to someone about an issue you have, then use the 5 second rule to make the decision to openly speak to them. Note that in both examples the stress that might be preventing you from taking action is your feelings of what others might think. This is usually the most common form of fear that holds us back from progressing in life. We're so afraid of others, we fail to do what's right for ourselves. It's for this reason that the 5 second rule works so well. You know what's interesting is that Alana said in her opening sentence to me, 
I'm scared of the rejection I will face when I start making choices for the new me. You know, I read something interesting and I wanna tell you this before I forget it and then I'm gonna talk generally about friendship hoping that the way that I'm thinking about friendship will help you lose the guilt. Number one, um, this, kind of, this came from a book that my husband was reading about alcohol. And it really w made me stop and think, and that is this. When you decide that you don't wanna drink for whatever reason, what's interesting about being somebody that doesn't drink at a party is that the only person that gives a shit what's in your glass is you. Nobody else typically cares. But the thing that's interesting is that when somebody says to you, would you like a drink? And you say, no, I'm not drinking. I'm not drinking for the month of January or no, I'm sober or nah, you know, I don't feel like it. What happens is the fact that you're turning down the alcohol, it can actually magnify somebody else's struggle with their own decisions around it. And so the first thing that I wanna point out is, if you have friends that make you wrong, for changing your life for the better, that's their issue. It's not yours. The five second rule is simple and it has to be as if it isn't, then we'll overthink the rule and still fail to take action. However, from the five second rule, we can gain a number of insights into our thought process, where our focus should lie and where we need to override the brain's natural response. These are, number one, trust your judgment and intuition. If you know something could be of value, we often overthink our choices about it. I'm terribly guilty of this in my own life. However, when you listen to those who've had massive success in their lives, one common point many make is that they trust their intuition, which is like a heightened sense that they can trust and often leads to massive results. You need to do the same. Trust your natural judgment and be decisive. Number two, manage distractions. Just as the five second rule can be used to take action, it can be used to stop distractions. For example, if you're using social media and need to switch it off, use the five second rule to take action and switch it off. Not just switch off, but you can actually take it a step further and even put your phone in airplane mode or in another room to avoid further distractions. The point is, the purpose of the five second rule is to push yourself and to take productive actions and equally this can help you reduce procrastination. Number three, get priorities in line. One of the things highlighted to you when you start doing the five second rule is where your priorities lie. You see, it's not just about taking action, but also about making decisions. These decisions will impact your everyday life, as you may realize that areas you may not have the desire to focus on are critical in your day-to-day -day activity and the five second rule might just be the push you need to act on them. Number four, start and stop actions. One of the lesser known uses of the five second rule is actually to stop doing something. For example, many of us who work find it easy to get drawn into the work and actually stop ourselves when we should. While this is fine on occasion, if it becomes frequent, it can have an adverse effect in other areas of our lives, such as relationships. Therefore, just as you would take action to do something, use the five second rule to stop as well, such as when you know it's time to switch off the laptop. Number five, focus on the overriding negative feelings. It's common to negate doing something when you know you should. You know you should go on the run, but you say to yourself that you don't feel like it. You know you should take the garbage out, but again you don't feel like it. Where the five second rule is powerful is it helps us take action to negate the sensations and do it anyway. Often, when you're able to discipline yourself in the small decisions and override the feeling to not do it, you'll see this attitude filter into other areas of your life and gain momentum in productivity. Number six, build confidence. The five second rule builds a lot of confidence as it's a way to push yourself beyond your comfort zone and do something you might not find easy. Often when we do this, we develop confidence in ourselves to be more decisive, take more action and build momentum in what we want to do. Often it's the first five second push that's the most critical. Number seven, don't wait for opportunities. Finally, the five second rule is about seizing opportunities in the day. The average person has a huge number of opportunities that come their way daily to get little wins and instead of taking them, they let them float by. The five second rule is all about acting to take the opportunities, not to wait for them to land in your lap. 
And this is the point of the five second rule. It's a method to push you to do what you know you should, but often fail to act on. So use the five second rule and seize the opportunities you have in life. I'm counting on you. One and 400 trillion. You got stuff to do. And it's not gonna happen in your head. So I want you to practice this today. When we go off to party, thank God it's coming soon because I think we all could use a cocktail. <laughs> I want you to practice the five second rule. You see somebody and you think they have that impulse, they look interesting. Walk over there. You were inspired by somebody and you have a request, make it. That's why you're here. Experiment with it and I think you'll be shocked about what happens. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like to let me know you've enjoyed it. Share it with friends and family to educate others and consider subscribing for more content like this. Make sure to hit the bell icon and to be notified of uploads as otherwise YouTube won't necessarily inform you of the latest videos.